You ever see a berry outside, you wanna eat it? Don't. This is why. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 most toxic substances in the world that will grant you a ticket to the afterlife. Don't touch or eat these. Let's do it. Kicking off the list at number 10, Blister Beetle. Great name, right off the bat. Sounds like a DC Comics super villain. Blister Beetle, ugh. These little guys are coated in cantharidin. Back in the day, medical experts would use cantharidin to induce blisters. That was a common remedy. Painful, of course, but quite common. Blister Beetles are tiny, and they often sport a metallic green or blue wing cover. They look great, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna touch these guys. If a bird tries to eat one of these, it's gonna get ugly pretty quick. It's, that beetle will not stay down. That beetle will come right back up immediately, and then continue on his beetle way. On the outside, cantharidin causes a dermatitis reaction. And if you accidentally eat one of these, just like that bird, it's most likely gonna be your last meal. Yeah, don't eat bugs, period. Let's move on. Number nine, tarantula hawk wasp. Okay, there's another name. Remember when we had to worry about killer wasps for like three months? Is that still a threat? Are they still out there? Is that a false alarm? Can we get some follow-up, please? Well, here's a wasp that you definitely want to avoid. I'll tell you this one for free. The tarantula hawk wasp. As if its name wasn't horrifying enough, let's talk about it. These wasps are so huge, for starters, they have bright orange wings, long legs, their bodies reach about two inches long, which is horrible already, and they're found all over the world, except for Europe. So if you live there, nice, must be nice. No giant wasps to worry about. No Tony Hawk wasps are gonna come in and bite you. They're most commonly found in the Grand Canyon, believe it or not. Yep, they just hang out there and eat tarantulas. Great, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. It has one of the worst stings on the planet. Its pain was described as instantly debilitating. See, bullet ant stings, they can last 24 hours and they suck. These ones, they only last five minutes. But it's ranked as the highest on the pain index. So I have to ask, would you rather have the worst pain for five minutes or just a really, really bad pain for 24 hours? Chris? Five minutes. Five minutes, me too. Just get it done with, you know? I don't wanna wait, like hour six, I'd be like, oh, please, this sucks. Number eight, arsenic. The deadly poison that supposedly took out George III of England and Napoleon Dynamite. What happened? What were they doing? Were they sniffing around? What are they doing? What is arsenic and why have we all heard about this before? Well, arsenic is incredibly toxic in its inorganic form. Arsenic is a natural component in the ground, so it causes contaminated water, which leads to arsenic poisoning. So most of the time, you'll develop skin cancer from it. Arsenic has an LD50 around 13 milligrams. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry has arsenic on its priority list of hazardous substances still. It's still a top dog. It's still a problem. Exposure to toxic metals is a common problem we're still facing today. We're not out of the woods yet, so had to throw it on this list. It sounds old though, right? It's like, oh, arsenic and old lace. Nope, very real. King George III is like, it's, I can tell you, it's real. Number seven, the Indian red scorpion. Scorpions are extremely underrated. These things are like lobsters mixed with snakes, mixed with spiders, just packed full of venom. It's actually horrible. I'm glad I've never seen one in real life even in a zoo or anything. I've never seen a scorpion. I just realized that, wow, okay. Indian red scorpions are of course found in India, and they're also found in Nepal, Sri Lanka, Pakistan. They're the most venomous out of the entire scorpion species. The fatality rate is around 40% if you get hit by one of these. So even if you don't die, it's gonna suck. I don't know how else to say that. You'll know if it's an Indian red scorpion because you'll start to sweat like crazy right off the bat. You'll start throwing up, you'll start convulsing, and most likely your body will immediately shut down. It's all physical stuff. You'll pass out, so maybe you won't know if you get bit. Their venom is also on the science side. Yeah, scientists are trying to figure out a way to fight cancer with it, so we don't hate them completely. You know, we're like, hey, stop it, but come here. What are you doing? Let me, let me study you. Don't bite me, but let me see your <laughs> Number six, Black Widow. Another scary bum, another natural scary bum you want to avoid. We've all heard about this one at some point, but just how bad is the Black Widow? Like, will you die? Yeah, probably. The Black Widow is not only extremely painful, but it's also incredibly toxic. At first, you won't even feel anything. You might think you were hit by a mosquito, if that. There'll be slight irritation on the skin, nothing too bad, nothing like the red scorpion. You won't notice at first. But then an hour goes by, you'll start to be confused, you'll be dizzy, you'll be nauseous, your breathing will become difficult, all because of this little thing right here. And her little butt, her little evil butt. See, male Black Widows are much smaller and contain much less venom than the female. Yeah, see, ladies are bad, Chris, they're bad news. A fact that you may have heard already, but I have to mention it, of course, is that the female Black Widow will actually begin eating the male while they're doing their, you know, spider mating thing. Could you imagine that? How, like, I trusted you, now you're eating me? Get out of here. This event, this horrible event, is called Lactrodectus Mirabilis. Yeah, it sounds like a Harry Potter dark magic spell. It's when you, you know, 
A little midnight snack. Number five, the hooded patooey. I bet you didn't expect a bird to be on this list. Yeah, too busy looking down. Now we gotta look up too. I already don't like birds, this is so scary. The hooded patooey sounds mysterious. Why is he wearing a hood? He's wearing a hood because he lives in the rainforest. That's why, of course. These little guys, I'll admit, they're pretty cute. They have an orange red chest with a dark black head. They're beautiful birds that are found mainly on the island of New Guinea. Now some say this bird is scary looking. I mean, I think that's just a negate people from going towards them. I disagree, it's a cute bird. But you should still avoid the hooded patooey. If you see these things, just honestly duck. I don't know what to do, duck, hide. Its skin and feathers are covered in a neurotoxin called homopetrochotoxin. If this bird landed on your shoulder and started to whisper secrets in your ear, I mean sure, you're gonna feel like a Disney princess for a hot minute, but eventually those toxins will start to cause numbness, even just skin contact. These birds are literally taking baths in radioactive puddles. Their neurotoxins come from the beetles that they eat. And you know which beetles I'm talking about, right? You're too good. Number four, comb stars. Ocean life is the scariest thing out there. We're talking about beetles and birds. Yeah, let's look into the sea. This is a nightmare already by itself. We have no idea what's in our oceans. We discover some crazy, crazy fascinating fish every year. Some deep sea fish with bioluminescence, like a glowing shark. We have a new glowing shark. How amazing is that? Some are small but mighty natural predators, like the comb star, for example. The comb star is a starfish that contains tetrodoxin. It's a deadly neurotoxin that can cause paralysis. Imagine having this guy in Finding Nemo. That'd be a quick movie. Per every gram of comb star flesh, there's enough toxin to take out 500 mice. So if you have 500 mice, don't let this guy in your house. Also, what do you do for a living? Number three, ricin. This deadly chemical can be found in the seeds of castor oil plants. It looks jarringly similar to table salt. That's the biggest ha about this. And an extremely small amount can take you out. It was also the biggest villain in Breaking Bad, really. He sat there silently for seasons at a time, just waiting waiting for his moment. They also come from castor beans, but unlike toxic plants, you aren't gonna run into any ricin in the wild. You know, there's more steps that need to be done before you accidentally poison yourself in mere minutes. So don't worry too much. Once consumed, ricin enters your cells and then prevents them from making the proteins that they need. That's bad news. You're pretty much toast at that point. Depending on if you inhale, ingest, or inject it, the results may vary. Either way though, it's, it's not gonna feel good. Georgi Markov, he got taken out by a ricin attack back in 1978. It was a small pellet. He had no clue. It's horrible. So deadly. Number two, the blue ringed octopus. You can look, but you most certainly should not touch. In fact, don't even look at this one. I take that back. If you see this thing, you're already too close. Swim away. Get out of there, man. The blue ringed octopus is commonly found in the waters of Australia and Japan. And sometimes they're not even in the water. Yeah, how fun is that? Surprise. If need be, these little guys can walk over rocks into another part of the ocean to avoid danger. Otherwise, they use their tentacles to walk along the ocean floor, which is so alien by itself. They're also believed to be the only other species that dreams. Of course, changing colors while they do so to make them look even more dazzling. The blue ringed octopus is lethal enough to take out 26 adults with an attack. 26. They're filled with two different types of venom in case one was too boring for you. The first can kill their prey while the other can be used as a defense. Either way, this toxin is bad, bad news. They don't get very large too, so watch your toes next time you're walking in hashtag paradise. Number one, poison dart frog. I saved the cutest for last. Yeah, you'd never expect this little guy to be the absolute deadliest frog on the planet. But look at that smile. He's hiding something. You can just tell. Frogs look so mysterious. They're just they're always so wet. That's the sound they're making. If it's named and tip you off already, the poison dart frog is one of the deadliest animals on earth. Its shiny yellow skin will certainly attract the eye, but if you decide to you know, catch one of these slippery boys, its poison will, you're, you're absolutely done. Its poison can kill many, many, many adults. Indigenous hunters figured this out early and they coated the tips of their arrows or darts in this exact toxin. They would just grab a frog and be like, thank you, see ya. He's like, he's part of the war, he's helping. The toxin created here is called batrotoxin. Another animal that has it was the hooded patooey. Yeah, so many animals have this. I'm always like hiding them from you and then pulling them out later. There's literally poison everywhere. Thanks for watching, that's a good time right there. Those are the top 10 most toxic substances in the world that will grant you a ticket to the afterlife. I've been Taylor McWaters. If you wanna see more of these horrible, horrible things, comment down below. I'll return, we'll talk, let's do it. <laughs> Bye. Here are the top 10, this is a handful. Blistol beater. <laughs> Blistol beaters? The f uh, that sounded dumb. On the outside, cantharidin causes causes some causes some sh cantharidin. Don't eat any beetles, Amanda. Never eat beetles. You don't want this. This is I'm the ant beetle guy apparently. This is all right. What channel is this? This is.
This is top 10 Beetlejuice. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Yeah. Yeah, top 10 insects would be sweet. That's, we should do that channel. That's um, yeah, free suggestion. That'd be pretty sweet. And then Jen never edits it, ever. Or else she'll quit. She'll be like, nope, this is gross. It's all a bunch of frogs with holes in their backs. Um, okay, sorry, I gotta back up a little bit. I just wanna have a smoother, that's kinda fun though, we can put that in, it's definitely fun. Yeah, no way, dude. Like lunch, you can't eat, you can't eat lunch. A <laughs> different yeah, drink. No, even if it was really good, like, even if it was spaghetti, I'd be like, no, I can't do it. I f***ing love spaghetti. Number eight, <laughs> with a weird, weird transition. I love spaghetti, and then arsenic. Oh God. Number eight, arsenic. Like so spitty from the orange. I'm like, oh, I'm hydrated now. Like, ugh. There's so many S's in that sentence. S yeah, that Polar Express guy better shut his mouth over there. The fatality rate, the fatality rate, fatalities. <laughs> I sound like Donald Trump. I'm like, so deadly. The, the deadliest one. Horrible. Number two. So, so hydrated. Too hydrated. All the fizz is like, oh, God. Just a ghost, that's all good. I saved the cutest. Oh, nine cops come in. I'm like, yeah, 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 wait, wait, wait. 